Again, one of these videos where you can't decide is it an unboxing or mailbag. Uh, since the main contents should be in a box, hopefully. And yes, it is. Let's call it an unboxing. So, uh, where was that? Um, you remember last time, can we see that? Uh, full size? Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, last time I used my uh, Proxon um, drilling holes in, in a circuit board. Uh, yeah. Link. Card. No. Card. Um, I had a little problem. Um, these things work simply too good. I mean, at minimum 5000 RPM, and you can go up to 22,000 RPM, and a uh, new drill bit, it uh, basically sucks the drill a bit into the material and uh, by hand you uh, you got absolutely no control and yeah I thought uh, I'll remedy that situation and get myself the accompanying Proxon drill stand yeah it op oh. oh, comes in pieces, huh? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, uh, we won't go over uh, the box itself. I mean, there is a manual, which is reasonably thick, but uh, many, many. Oh yeah. Here, here. We have at least some pictures with uh, everything, and on page two, we have the whole thing in English. And I guess a lot of other, uh, yeah. Okay, who needs that manual? Nice styrofoam block. You always can use something like that. Uh, obviously tools for assembly and such. So the lever, I guess. And yeah, so nothing special. Three keys, very small. Mm, yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's go to the meat of things. It won't come out easily, obviously. The stand itself, which looks good no other way to put it. Yeah, we will assemble it and then have a look-see. Okay, that obviously goes onto the desk. And yeah, huh. Is that usable in some way or can we throw it away right away? Uh, 
we'll see. I I'll change the perspective in a second. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's all in the box. Yeah, this this will be quite hard. So, um, how do we assemble this? So I guess that piece comes in here, and I uh, yeah. Um, little tip right away. You you don't want that really sticking completely through. You want it uh, yeah in this position here. Otherwise, uh, the whole the whole thing might get wibbly wobbly and I guess this should be the medium size key they delivered with it and yeah okay and this is massive steel yeah, sorry <laughs> yeah the old problem this is massive steel this is uh, cast aluminium and uh, machined. I mean, you can't see the uh, machine marks, probably. Can we zoom in on that? Yeah. Oh, camera doesn't like it. The pattern, I guess. But uh, you can see the machine marks. Oh, yeah. So this is not necessarily important if you <laughs> drill circuit boards, but uh, yeah, it, it's a nice touch that this is, is really plain and we have this thingy here, which when you fix it is absolutely use so yeah put that right away to the first to the back and fix it there uh, this is just you know a gimmick not really usable like uh, this scale here which is supposedly in centimeters and uh, yeah another drawback uh, can you see this let me try to focus on it if I find it uh, uh, about here uh, it's hard to see in the camera more zoom okay now maybe you can see it but uh, there's a little bubble in the protective foil over the scale uh, it's the same, sorry, autofocus, it's the same here. Not very nice, but uh, yeah, as I said, uh, that thing here is more like a, like a gimmick. I, I, I can't, yeah, not for precision work. Uh, you can uh, mount a precision XY table on it if you want to. Um, I don't. Uh, so let's mount this monstrosity. It should be quite easy. You, uh, sorry. You slide it on here. And then you fix it here. 
And the thing is, there is uh, is that focused another screw here. And you normally only fix it on the top and yeah, it should be sliding. But we can tighten up that screw. So that is that it's still sliding. Freely. But not wobbling so much. So, yeah. And then you tighten the upper screw and yeah, no. Sorry, just but yeah, it's it's really only not even a quarter turn, and uh, yeah, it sits there. Uh, I have to change the perspective a lot. Okay, and uh, yeah, that thingy goes obviously. Sorry. It's too big. That thingy goes obviously in here. Uh, you won't need Loctite for... Uh, ah, no. I have grease on my fingers from uh, the stand. You won't need Loctite. Uh, then it has an interesting sound wait a second Obviously, uh, can I zoom in on that? Yeah, let's do a digital zoom just for fun. So you have here scale, obviously millimeters, and uh, you have here a slide where you can. Oops. zero on that scale and in addition this also acts uh, as a kind of you fix it as a stop so now I can do 30 millimeters in depth and nothing more Uh, the whole thing the whole thing works wire at least uh, here you should see it oh there's a uh, yeah one spring And the whole thing wobbles a little bit, which is quite okay because uh, you can adjust that wobble. So yeah, the 
feeling i mean this costs uh, i'm not sure 60 bucks or so on amazon and yeah, there's some grease on it yeah now i've adjusted it and uh, there's absolutely no wobble Hmm, what else? Uh, yeah, obviously you can... Uh, uh, let me zoom out again. You can adjust the angle. And for that you need to open two screws. In the back. Number uno, number numero due. But, uh, yeah, what the hell? Let's do it. They were not tightened too much. I'm <coughs> inclined to say they were loose but now you can do a full 90 degrees where uh, oh this is obviously I don't know if you can see that from uh, the camera but this is a wee bit more than 90 degrees I can see that uh, with all the lines it might be hard for you to see but it's a little bit more than 90 degrees um, but the zero degrees should be if I really go until the end and fix that that should be zero degrees if not we'll measure that because most of the time, <laughs> most of the time, uh, you want to drill straight down. Okay. Oh. Let's fix the screws, T tighten the screws. Oh yeah, and how big is the thing? Um, give me a sec. Okay, so from... Sorry. Don't get sick on my account. So from the back here to uh, the hole where drill goes through it's um, yeah approximately I mean it will stand in the manual but uh, approximately 14 centimeters 140 millimeters so uh, uh, let's say four five five and a half inches about ish um, yeah that should be enough for a uh, every board you ever will drill uh, yeah, the biggest material usually used in German yeah these euro size boards and uh, yeah no problem and double euro size a full double euro um, yeah, maybe you can turn it around so yeah no problem for uh, drilling boards absolutely not um yeah the total height uh, i mean not 
taking the stand, which is cast aluminium. Uh, I already said it, it's all cast aluminium, but uh, for that, uh, yeah, really thick. Uh, this is you know, 20 millimeters, so uh, four fifths of an inch steel, rod steel in the back. Um, yeah, so uh, nothing to complain in the stand itself of oh, total size of the thing. Uh, uh, 27 centimeters. Uh, 25.4 would be 10 inches. So uh, let's, let's say uh, 10 and a half inches. But um, yeah, that's not why I bought it, was it? Uh, I bought it to put something in here, but um, before that, uh, yeah, uh, I already told you uh, there are some bubbles here under the protective foil over the scale. Maybe you're supposed to remove that foil, but I don't think so. That thingy here is a joke. And uh, the action while being, yeah, it, 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 it has some play in it. It has some play in it why? because that screw is loose. These screws are never good. Uh, maybe I have to disassemble it, but uh, yeah, I'm just checking here every screw I can find. Yeah, these screws are also <laughs> loose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, uh, so uh, if you are uh, more um, uh, a philosopher who wants to buy a drill stand uh, to drill uh, a hole in a picture frame to put it up, this is not the tool for you. Too many loose screws <laughs> to assemble after it uh, to tighten after it comes out of the box okay uh, okay so my main criticism here i mean this is sturdy as hell okay um and uh also the cast aluminium this is yeah this is for the intended purpose uh also the head it's sturdy as hell okay but and if you adjust here uh, the bearing, yeah, there's no play at all and uh, it's still working fine. But it's not really... Yeah, there is a point where oop, you feel that it's not really entirely smooth. Maybe I disassemble it and... Uh, have a look. So, what's the most? I yeah, so maximum forty five. And uh, while the scale is plastic, yeah. Uh, the clamping mechanism inside, sorry again, digital zoom, the clamping mechanism inside is metal. That's a, that's a nice touch because these uh, are on, on, on very cheap uh, things, uh, the clamping is done through the plastic and uh, at some point that breaks. But the clamping mechanism is inside this massive plastic block and it's metal. 
So yeah, um, the only criticism, or the only two criticisms, three criticisms so far. Uh, bubbles on the scale, uh, I don't care about it. This thingy, uh, which I have to admit, I'm uh, sorry, throwing away now or putting it in, in the carton because put it away somewhere this is useless and uh yeah the 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 action the action oh sorry the action could be smoother i mean maybe it just needs a little bit more uh you know grease or a little disassembly and cleaning i don't know but the action could be smoother for such a tool for precision tool from proxy uh, but now that i've done it a few times it's already better so maybe there's really somewhere just a little bit of okay um but now let's put the uh drill into it and try it out so <clears throat> here's my proxon and uh this is 20 millimeter, uh, again, the uh, IBSE. I don't know if I have already done a card and a link, uh, whatever. Um, and this is 20 millimeters, okay? This is not the standard uh, European uh, drill 43 millimeters. This is 20 millimeter. This is Proxon special. And I'm. Um, yeah, this is a tight fit, and it should be a tight fit. If I hold that, there is, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, there's not enough space here. Oh, the camera angle of the iPad is so. There is. I'm not sure what's wobbling, if it's on the desk or the screws, which are not fully adjusted yet. But yeah, there is not much, but a little bit of wobble. So, uh, full disclosure, I'm doing this uh, <laughs> the next day after I thought I finished this video and it's uh, going about the uh, these screws here. Are we in focus? Yeah, we are in focus. If I just put on my glasses, then uh, I would see that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, I noticed uh, that there was still a little bit of wobble left and the um, thing is I did the adjustment of uh, the dovetail guide. The th here I uh, did that wrong. So um, yeah I try to bring you down and zoom in on it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need a little digital zoom. Never nice, but uh, yeah. It's dark green on dark green, but I hope you can see it. So the correct way to uh, adjust that would be uh, 
to loosen up the middle screw. I mean, uh, you can totally remove it if you want. And then you drive in the top set screw with the uh, very tiny Allen key that was uh, delivered with it. And the lower set screw. Until it's still, uh, it's going even rougher now. Still have no idea why. But that way, I mean, now there's absolutely, I will show you that when uh, I zoomed out, maybe I can loosen then up just, you know, Water turn. And then I have a little wobble, I think, on the top. So an eighth of a turn closer. Yeah. Huh? Ah, still a little bit of wobble. Yeah, this is a little bit of a fiddly procedure. Another quarter turn. And here. Also a little bit more. And you see it's 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 not smooth. Somewhere there's dirt and I have to look about it. But uh, now the um, the wobble is completely gone. And uh, yeah, you can fasten the counter nuts. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit of an overkill, but I actually don't have a key that's uh, a branch of that size, so hopefully a little bit easier on the bottom set screw. around the camera up oh, don't move the set screw itself just the counter nut I hope you don't get dizzy yeah that should be enough that's okay and then you can if you want uh, on the fly uh, just a little bit more with that screw yeah as i said now there is i'm zooming out again i'm going to the old position Now there's, yeah, absolutely no play. I mean, now I'm really have only the flex I have, uh, yeah, in the construction itself. <sighs> yeah, and uh, now uh, back to the past and. Uh, 
on with the uh, rest of the video uh, I did yesterday and I will cut out the portions where I complain uh, about a, that there's still a little bit of wiggle left in that dovetail guide. Okay, um, yeah, later or uh, yesterday or uh, yeah, whatever. You know what? Uh, Let's put a drill bit in and uh, drill a bit. Huh? Yeah, the good news is you can, uh, even if you put it in this way, you can uh, still reach the button to lock the chuck when you uh, fix the drill bit. Am I losing it? Uh, I mean, losing it, yeah, obviously. Loosen it up. That's nice. And yeah, obviously it's too high up. Let's adjust that. That should be quite easy. Simply open up at the back. <clears throat> okay. Oops, slide it down. Maybe not that far, huh? And, hey, sorry. Working around the camera is sometimes not easy. You can still see what I'm doing? No, you can't. Now you can see it. Reason, uh, not quite. Yeah, I'm trying to not to get into your viewing experience. So, and here is the next gripe I have. Uh, yeah, you should be able to see that. I will zoom on it just a second so yeah the drill is freely going to the hole but uh, yeah it's not really centered is it now you could say yeah no, it's not really centered. Which is uh, okay because the uh, biggest chuck size, uh, or what you will do with such a dr uh, small drill, uh, 
uh, maybe four millimeters. I'm not sure. Let's see. The biggest chuck you get is actually 3.2 millimeters. So, uh, yeah, that's a three millimeter drill bit. So, yeah, it's okay, but uh, that's, I say, number four. And uh, number five, maybe, um, yeah, it, it's a round steel. And therefore, uh, yeah, you have to be careful when you align that. So, what can we do now? Um, yeah, I know. Drill a hole. <laughs> so yeah, um, I have here some uh, glass fiber board. Let's try this first. So, yeah, absolutely smooth. Yeah. And now we try some that gave uh, the stuff that gave me so much grief. Uh, again, I can't remember. Uh, I will point it out. Uh, maybe uh, a card, maybe a link. Uh, yeah. And I'm doing here five th just 5,000, which is fast enough. I mean, it's, it's still, it, yeah, you can go to 20,000, but uh, why? So yeah, um, that combo really uh, drills nice holes. Uh, can I have a focus here, please? Very nice and clean holes. I mean, uh, in the uh, paper material, uh, in the resin impregnated uh, paper boards, as well as uh, into the glass fiber boards. There's yeah, no doubt about it. The result is perfect uh, compared to uh, using <coughs> um, yeah <laughs> a hand drill, especially on the paper boards, on the resin impregnated paper boards. Uh, uh, they don't like to be drilled too much, uh, do they? Okay, um, again, full disclosure, we are back, uh, back in the future. And uh, so that is uh, the day after I filmed the bulk of the video and after uh, just uh, half an hour, an hour ago, I uh, adjusted the uh, dovetail so that there would be no more play. And uh, yeah, I'm doing something I normally don't do. I redo the uh, part of my video, but um, yeah. 
anyway, um, let's have a look on the Amazon listing. Uh, I printed the page out and we can zoom in a little. So uh, we're talking here about the uh, Proxon Micromat MB200 drill stand. And uh, yeah, there's grease on that dovetail guide for uh, yeah around about 70 euros. So a little bit uh, more in US dollars and uh, free delivery. Uh, yeah. Let's get uh, the ugly and bad things out of the way first. So uh, you remember the uh, protective film here on the scale, which is unusable anyway, uh, had some bubbles in it. Um, okay, forget it. Uh, yeah. Um, I would like, would, would have liked, uh, yeah, the steel column to have some kind of an index. So uh, when you adjust it in height, you uh, still uh, be here on a center line with the whole head and assembly. Um, yeah. Um, what I really don't like is... Uh, yeah, the wobbly feel in here and uh, yeah, as I said, uh, it's, it's, it's not really, when you actually drilling it, uh, it doesn't matter so much, but uh, it's not really a smooth feeling, especially now uh, when you take out all of the slack from the dovetail guide. And um, what I really, really uh, find annoying, I mean, it doesn't impair on the functionality, but uh, uh, it gets me crazy every time I look at it. Uh, other people won't have that problem. Uh, that the hole is not centered with the drill. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a 200 euro piece, it's a 70, uh, 70 euro piece, 70 bucks. And uh, for that you get a really uh, nicely machined uh, base uh, where you can attach, if you needed an XY table, yeah, there are uh, screw holes here tapped and ready and stuff and uh yeah 20 millimeter uh massive steel column and the whole rest uh quite massive aluminium body so uh this will last okay uh if you use it for what it's intended uh that is uh using a dremel like tool like this um i mean in my opinion better than a dremel the proxons but um, yeah, uh, don't get in my, my hair if you're prox uh, drama fanboy. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, would I buy it again? Um, maybe. Maybe I would look for something else, but then, uh, yeah, for the Proxons and the Dremels, um, you're bound uh, to buy a drill stand from Proxon or Dremel, otherwise, uh, yeah, the neck won't fit. Uh, so yeah, I would buy it. Am I totally happy with it? Um, obviously not. Four drawbacks. Uh, two minor and... Um, yeah. Would I buy a cheaper drill stand? Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, you won't, I mean, uh, you get some for 20 or 30 
bucks uh, you get uh, for uh, small uh, non-branded drills these uh, Chinese stuff uh, you get drill stands and uh, uh, yeah there are no match uh, you won't be happy with that uh, this you can probably tune up until it's uh, really smooth and uh, yeah but as I said uh, it's not perfect out of the box that's and yeah it's my grief um, compared to the Dremel drill stand, uh, an absolute winner. I mean, the Dremel drill stand is a little bit cheaper, I think, uh, uh, but it's a plastic toy. Okay, F forget, simply forget about it. It's, it. it's a plastic toy. Proxon has also a cheaper stand uh, that uh, you can't adjust uh, the angle. Of the whole hat here. Um, I don't know about that one. Um, I'm guessing it has the uh, same problems as that one, um, but it's a little bit smaller, a little bit cheaper. And with these mixed feelings, um, yeah, um, but uh, the, the sunny outlook that uh, I will be able to drill uh, my <clears throat> my resin impregnated paper boards in the future without uh, making too much of a mess by 